Hello everyone, I hope you're all having a fabulous Tuesday. Today I have a Is It Worth It video and the item that I wanted to discuss is the Chanel Walk or the Wallet on Chain. Now even though I've never formally done a review for this item, I thought that I would share if I think it's worth adding to a collection. I wanted to give you some highlights and that way you can decide whether or not this is something that you want to add to your own collection. So hopefully this video is able to help and at the end of this video I will also be incorporating some mod shots so you can see how it looks on my body frame and for reference I am 5'5 five five and I am on the curvy side. So let's get started. Before I forget, the measurements on this beautiful piece are 7.6 inches in length. It is 4.8 inches in height, approximately 1.4 inches in depth. This item currently retails for $2,100 here in the States, and it's available in an array of different colors, different versions, different leathers, you name it, seasonal colors as well. Uh, so there are, very, uh, there are various types of colors that you can choose from uh, to really suit your lifestyle or to really suit your, uh, your color collection. I thought that I would also share how much this item ends up weighing uh, because I know that might be important if you have uh, shoulder pain or anything like that. So this item weighs in at approximately 14 ounces. There is, uh, I have nothing inside of it. It is completely empty. There is no stuffing. So it weighs in at almost a pound. So 14 ounces. Even though this is technically a wallet, an SLG or a small leather good, many people like myself end up using this as a handbag. And one of the greatest aspects, one of the greatest details about the wallet wallet on chain, in my opinion, is the fact that it is so incredibly versatile. Now, when it comes to luxury goods, I always look for versatility because of two things. It'll mean that the cost per wear ends up being a lot lower, or it means that the item will end up paying for itself. If it's something that I can incorporate into my lifestyle, or if it's something that I can incorporate into my weekly rotation of my handbags if I wanted to. And that's exactly what the wallet on chain does. So how versatile is it? I think it's incredibly versatile in the sense that you can end up using this as a wallet as the name states you just kind of end up hiding the chain you're able to put this into a larger tote if you wanted to you can also use this as a handbag as i mentioned many people uh, end up using this you just kind of twist the handles you twist the little the chain and then you're able to use this as a little shoulder bag and i will also include the length of the uh, of the strap in the description box below i completely forgot to do that before the video uh, but i know that's also very important depending on your height you don't want, you want to make sure that it's not too long or you want to make sure that it's not too short so i'll make sure and put that in the description box below but going back to the versatility you're also able to use this crossbody because in my case it does have a very generous uh strap and like i said i will put that um i will put all the details down below so you're also able to use this as a clutch. You hide the chain kind of like you would uh, using it as a wallet. You hide the chain in the compartment there, and then there you go. And it's also incredibly easy to transition from day to night. So let's say during the day you're using this, you're meeting uh, your girlfriends, you're going out shopping, you wanna be hands-free, so you use it crossbody, you can do that. And then at night, let's say that you have a date or you want you know, you know, want something a little bit, uh, a little bit classy or something that doesn't uh, have too many logos going on and you like the quilted look, uh, again, that's available in an array of different colors and variations that you can get. Uh, but you can end up just hiding the chain and then you're able to use this just as a little clutch so it's perfect so for weddings or for anything uh, that if you want to be a little bit more formal you could do that with this and still be able to use this during the day so again the versatility on this is 100% in my opinion the best aspect on this so I think that's um, that's one of the key features on it now I also have to mention that when it comes to the wallet on chain because it is a wallet you don't have to worry about carrying an extra card holder to to carry your driver's license your credit cards or cash or anything like that because it already has six credit card slots that are um that are incorporated into it. So you don't have to worry about adding an extra wallet, an extra card holder, as I mentioned. That allows you to maximize the space that you are using inside for other items, such as uh, car keys, a lipstick, a compact, or whatever other essentials it is that you want to carry with you in a smaller handbag. You're able to do that because you don't have to worry about carrying an extra wallet. So there are the six credit card slots. Uh, it also fits most smartphones. Uh, I know that as the years, uh, as we get, uh, um, you know, as the years go by, the phones end up getting a little bit bigger, but I just wanted to show you, I have an iPhone 6S and it's able to fit in here quite easily. I do believe the iPhone 7 is able to fit in there as well. Uh, but if you do have the iPhone 7, let me know in the comment section down below or the 7S if it ends up fitting in here okay. Uh, that way I can, um, that way we can also give more 
more information to those of you that are looking to add this to your collection. Let's say that you do have a larger phone. Uh, so again, the iPhone 6s is able to fit in there without a problem. And I also wanted to talk a little bit about the snap button closure because it doesn't have a zipper closure. It does have this little snap button closure here. And um, I often get asked, you know, is it very strong? Is it sturdy? Does it open up on its own? Uh, I've had this wallet on chain for, I think, three years, three and a half years maybe it's closer to four. I can't remember. So I'm, I'm horrible when it comes to, uh, to knowing exactly when I got certain items. Uh, but I haven't had any issues at all with the snap button closure. And trust me, I have used this thing to death. You can see because I have major wrinkling going on. It's uneven, you know, it's a little bit thinner here. It's a little bit bulkier there. Uh, but I have thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed this item. I haven't been careful. I haven't put it in a bubble or anything like that. Uh, so the snap button closure, in my opinion, is very strong. Um, it's very easy to, to close and then you're, you're able to open it up. So I haven't had an issue with it popping open through crowds or anything like that. So I would have to say that uh, even though it doesn't have a zippered closure, the snap button closure in itself, I feel is very, very secure. So no problems there. There is another feature that I also wanted to highlight a little bit more because it doesn't get talked about too often, and that is the secret, uh, the little secret zipper. Now, as most of you know, when it comes to Chanel Classic flaps, they do have that uh, that little zipper at the top of the of the flap, and it's something that Coco Chanel implemented herself into the handbag because she wanted to hide love letters. But when it comes to the wallet on chain, all you have to do, I already unzipped it, this little guy here, this little pocket, actually goes the entire length of the bag. So I think this is wonderful, especially if you have larger bills or if, it's, if there's something that you want to carry with you that you don't want people to see when you open up your handbag, you're able to put it in here. And to be honest, this is something that I really used when we recently uh, when we recently traveled. And um, it really made me feel a little bit better knowing that I can carry larger bills with me. Uh, but when I opened up the bag, you wouldn't be able to see them. So, you know, I would just kind of put my hand in here and get out what I needed to. And then I just kind of zip it up. So it almost it's like an added security feature that I really, really like. Now, talking about travel, I did recently use this on our overseas trip to London. Now, London, um, I absolutely love London. I miss, uh, I miss the city. Uh, it does have very unpredictable weather, and because of the month that we were in, the when we went, which was in March, uh, it was very, it was very, rain it was raining, it was cloudy, so I didn't know what type of weather we were going to have, and I was a little nervous as to what bag I wanted to use, but I ended up using my wallet on chain because of the caviar leather. The, the caviar leather in itself is incredibly carefree, so I don't have to worry about. Uh, I mean, if it was snowing or if it was raining, I didn't have to worry that it's going to damage the leather. So it rained a couple times when we were there and I haven't had any issues. It looks exactly the same way that it did before we left. Uh, and I also have to say because of the shape that the wallet on chain has and because of how small it is and how it fits me crossbody, it was perfect to use this bag sightseeing. So it ends up kind of laying flat up against my body. I don't have to worry that it's too cumbersome. I don't have to worry that it's going to uh, take up too much space and it's able, I'm able to navigate crowds a lot easier with a smaller handbag that is uh, crossbody and carefree than you know other handbags that I have in my collection. So I opted for this one and I, I mean, I couldn't be happier that I ended up choosing this. So it really ended up working like a charm when we were overseas. And I was also able to fit my Louis Vuitton passport holder with my passport and Robert's passport in here without a problem and my phone and a lipstick. Uh, of course, I tend to overstuff this uh, sometimes when I'm traveling, uh, but you can see I'm able to fit the passport holder in there. Let's say that you don't have a passport holder and you only have one and you want to use this when you're sightseeing or if you want to just carry your passport with you, uh, then it's able to fit in here very easily. So you're able to fit it into the main compartment. You're able to fit it into this little pocket here if you wanted to. Uh, so it made it really easy to also go through TSA uh, with such a small handbag and I didn't have to, you know, take everything out or anything like that. So again, the fact that I was able to use this when we were overseas because it's carefree, because it's smaller, because it was crossbody, and the fact that that it ended up fitting what I needed to carry with me made it even better when we were uh, when we were traveling. So 
that's another uh, great feature about it. Now, even though it does have a slightly higher price tag, I'm not going to lie, $2,100 um, for such, for a small handbag. Again, I feel that um, I feel that the pros end up outweighing the cons when it comes to this because you can use it in so many different settings. You're able to uh, incorporate it into daily lifestyles, at least in my case. Uh, but I feel that even though it is a $2,100, it is an all leather handbag, and it does have the feature of the beautiful chain that I tend to appreciate the most when it comes to Chanel. I love how it is. It's not too heavy. It's not too, it's not flimsy. It seems like it's like it's sturdy. You can really feel, um, you can really feel the quality of the chain whenever you're using it. And you don't have to worry again that it's going to dig into your shoulder. At least I haven't had that happen to me. And trust me, like I've said before, I've used it so many times. So I love the chain detail that it has. Um, and I know that sometimes the seasonal ones or if they have special limited edition ones they have uh, charms uh, but for the most part I just love the fact that it is an all leather bag with the textile interior and you have this beautiful chain that accompanies it so it like I said I, I can't turn a blind eye to to the price tag that it has but again I feel that the pros outweigh the cons when it comes to it now even though I'm giving you the highlights that I appreciate about the wallet on chain the most uh, I also wanted to talk about the fact that you do have to go very compact when it comes to using this you only I mean you're you're only able to use just the bare essentials. So let's say that you have your car keys in there, a lipstick, your credit cards. Of course, you don't have to carry an extra wallet because of the slots that it already has in there and maybe a few other things, but not too much more. Sometimes I end up overstuffing mine. That is why you end up seeing that it has this funky uh, little texture going on on the bottom. But again, I wanted to enjoy it. I didn't want to think twice about it. I, want, I didn't want to baby it. Um, so sometimes I end up overstuffing it uh, from time to time. But again, if you're the type of person that feels more comfortable carrying more items with you, then I wouldn't necessarily recommend the wallet on chain uh, because you're not able to use a cosmetic pouch, again, because of the size. You're not able to use some of the other items that maybe you need to carry. Uh, but I still feel that you're able to fit quite a bit in there. And uh, again, I feel that the fact that it does have the credit card slots is the biggest selling point because you don't have to carry. There's That's one less thing that you have to carry with you. But even with all that set aside, uh, I just have to mention that you do definitely have to go compact with this. So uh, I just thought that I would mention that. Now the last thing that I wanted to talk about is resale value. As I mentioned before, even though it does have a higher price point than some of the other smaller handbags from other fashion houses, when it comes to resale, this holds its resale value incredibly well. So let's say that you buy it today and you're loving it, it's working out for you, but let's say in six months time you fall out of love with it, it doesn't work out for you anymore, you changed your mind completely. When you go to resell it, you can end up getting what you paid for, if not close to what you paid for, than any other fashion house. Because other fashion houses sometimes lose their resale value by 50%, 75% whenever you end up selling it. But when it comes to the wallet on chain, most notably the quilted wallet on chain, the classic quilted, whether it's the gold or the silver hardware, they end up holding their resale value so incredibly well. I've uh, I've experienced this in the past with uh, with clients or with just in general from seeing it on the pre-loved market. And uh, that makes me happy because not only is it a not only is it an item that is very versatile it's very carefree as far as this specific uh, version but the fact that I can end up getting close to what I paid for because it may you know it didn't work out in a year's time or six months time or what have you really makes me feel even more comfortable about the about the purchase so I thought that I would mention that as well so all in all do I recommend is the wallet on chain worth it absolutely 100% in my opinion. I have two in my collection. Like I mentioned, I do have the red uh, caviar, um, the classic quilted with the silver hardware, but I end up using the black one a little bit more. Um, Again, I just feel it's a lot more carefree. With the red, I do have to worry a little bit as far as color transfer uh, because I do wear quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of black. Uh, but I th absolutely think it's worth it. And uh, I'd have to say, and I mentioned this in other videos, it is by far one of the best purchases I have ever made from the fashion house. And uh, it, it has made me incredibly happy. I've used it various times. I mean, I, countless times, not even various times. I mean, countless times where I can't even, I can't even, um, it's got to be in the hundreds that I've used it. 
and it's definitely paid for itself many times over again because of the versatility. So, uh, you know, if let's say that you want to try out the fashion house and let's say that you have the smaller, small leather goods, I always recommend starting out with small leather goods just to get a feel for any brand, uh, not necessarily Chanel, but let's say you love the way that the small leather goods wear and you're not quite sure on committing yet to a classic flap, I highly, highly recommend the wallet on chain because it just, again, the versatility, and I feel that it ends up speaking for itself. So I just thought I'd give you my two cents, my thoughts on whether or not it's worth it, and it absolutely is, in my opinion. Um, but again, I will include mod shots at the end of this video so you can see how it ends up wearing on me. But hopefully this video was able to help by giving you some of the highlights. Um, and um, if you want me to do, a, a, I mean, this is kind of like a review, so, if you want me to do um, maybe an in-depth review and talking about the cons, I can definitely do that. Just let me know in the comment section down below. But again, I hope that this video was helpful. So thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you haven't already and you would like to, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. I make anywhere from two to three videos a week. And if you would like to see another uh, Worth It video, let me know in the comment section down below. Um, I love doing these. I love giving uh, the input as far as the items that I have you know, that have really worked out for me. And I even included this in my Chanel All-Stars because I just, I rave about it so much and I've talked about it for so many years and it's something that I continuously end up using and incorporating into my everyday lifestyle. So again, thank you so much for watching and as always, make it a fabulous day or not. The choice is yours. Have a great day, you guys.